YouTube. This is Ryan Johnson bringing some more bombs to you. If you want, if you want to be successful in the age of the internet, you gotta have some sort of social media presence. You got, you gotta be loud. It's so loud out there. Nobody can, nobody can hear you. Even if you're producing the greatest content, you gotta be pumping out content all day long on all the channels. And this is just so you can build a relationship. You don't even need to have a product um, for people to purchase. Just be yourself. Let people get to know you. Uh, talk to people through through the through the internet, and uh, develop a develop a following that you can teach and help and drag people kicking and screaming with you, kicking and screaming all the way to the top. There's a lot of people that want to be successful and a lot of them don't have the tools necessary to do it. They might have the knowledge necessary to do it, but they don't have the, the tools. So if, if someone misses their opportunity in life, like they have dreams when they're young and they don't see those dreams come to fruition, then when they get old, older, they could experience like uh, doubt and frustration because they uh, didn't do what they wanted to do. Now, I just have to say that it's never too late to do what you want to do. You just have to start doing it, and that's the hard part. So if you need somebody who can kick your ass and get you into shape, that's me. Hit, hit me up, Ryan Johnson. I'll have, you'll have to find me on all channels. Ryan Johnson Training, that's the website I'm setting up. I'm just going to be helping people, producing, producing the best people possible, helping people discover their God-given goal and their purpose. Otherwise, they'll, they'll be in doubt and frustration their whole life. Now, I don't care if you have a brand or not. It's the age of the internet. If you're ever going to want to break free from clocking in and clocking out for somebody else, you're going to need to develop a name. You're going to need to talk about those things that you like to talk about. If you have a page set up towards butterflies and you just like to talk about butterflies all the time, there are people who want to see that content. If you're a person who likes rocks and you just like to talk about rocks, shoot your videos, put your videos on the internet, keep on doing it, even if you don't see any um, results, because those won't come for a while after after working hard. There's not, there's no one out there who put out one video and became an overnight success. There might be people out there that put out a video and became uh, trend, trendy or popular for one video and then they're gone forever. You know, the names that stick with you, those are the ones that really made an impact on, on your life. Some of those people for me are Grant Cardone, Andrew Carnegie, Napoleon Hill, Zig Ziglar, and, and uh, Bob Proctor. Bob, Bob Proctor talked about something called the terror barrier, and he describes it as a line that is on the left side, a, li a line horizontal with the left side being X and the le right side being Y in between and, and the line in between. Now the things on the left, the X's were things that we were comfortable with doing, things that we did all the time. Um, things that we're comfortable with, like going to the store on a certain day of the week or going to bed at a certain time or shutting down the house in a certain uh, ma manner or a systematic way. And those are the things that are comfortable for us. The things that are uncomfortable are on the right side of the line. That's the Y spectrum. And that's things that make us uncomfortable. So. If you've never been on an airplane, you might be uncomfortable the first time you do it. Whenever you go on a road trip, you might not have ever done it before and you'll, you might feel uncomfortable driving out onto the plains or the mountains in a vehicle. You know, uh, there's a lot of road out there where there's no cities in between and that may be a cause of concern for somebody. Or uh, going and talking to people that you don't know, that would be something that might cause some people to experience terror. So, so the terror barrier is what separates a man who is trying to make a change or a woman who's trying to make a change because the change is something that's unknown 
to us. We don't know what the results are going to be when we do stuff we haven't done before. And so once we get on the other side of that terror barrier, though, once you get 50 miles out of the city or once you get, you know, 20 minutes onto the airplane into the sky or once you talk to enough people, engage enough people, you become comfortable in that type of thing. And and you're worth it, you know, you're worth it. Take the time and and do those things, because if you don't, you'll end up like the ones who have regrets and the ones who don't get what they want. They they help other people get what they want, but they don't ever get what they truly want for themselves. And 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 I know this because, like I said before, I was there during the birth of the Internet. I was there for. Uh, dialing up a, a URL and walking away for two minutes until the website came back up. I was there when re websites used to be really heavy. I was there when email, gener email capture pages were popular uh, before the email inbox became a, just a, a advertising pool. Um, if, you, if you like this tip, you know, like this video and share or follow. It's, it's a smart idea to have more than one email address this isn't something i considered for a long time but the reason it's smart to have more than one email address is because everything's linked to your email address your bank your social media all that stuff we live in an age where information is like sensitive even your phone number is sensitive information there are ways that happen out there where people will get scammed by just calling a phone number or texting a phone number and they and they can become a victim that, that way. I'm not here to talk about scams. Andrew Carnegie, Grant Cardone, those are people that I that I respect and look up to. And uh, If you want to, if you want to be somebody who do, who doesn't just live to clock in and clock out and do build someone else's dream, then contact me and we'll get going and help you do whatever it is that you're trying to do. Because because the guy who's the guy who's the accountant at a large firm, although he may enjoy his job. I wouldn't necessarily call him happy. Although his bank account might be full, I wouldn't necessarily call him happy. Is he, li is he living the life that he wants to? Or is he living the life someone else dictated for him? That he should clock in and clock out for 40 or 60 hours a week. Getting paid just enough to pay the rent to have a place to rest so that you could go to work and so that you could have insurance on a car to drive to work so that you can have some extra money at the end of the month and hopefully more than a little extra to be able to take a family vacation or some side some sort of weekend uh, trip so please please like please subscribe please follow this video is for the people that are trying to make something of themselves and they face discouragement. I'm telling you, reach out to me. We can do this together. Um, just keep on pushing because it's, it's a loud world out there. It's a loud world. Look forward until talking to you next time.